My name is Mamoun, Mamoun Mubayyad. I'm a consultant psychiatrist at the Behavioral Healthcare Center here in Doha. Uh, I've moved to Doha four years ago after 30 years in Ireland. Uh, this symposium is uh, very important. It's long overdue, if, if you like. The title, as you uh, know, um, Islamic Ethics and Psychology. Man is made of body and mind, not just body. Uh, so very much like when our body gets into a disease or an illness or dis disorder, if you like, the same for, for, for the mind. Um, early Muslims scholars, they did work on the psychological issues. Uh, I'm glad about this seminar because I want to uh, clarify some of, some of the misunderstanding among the, among the Muslims. Uh, many Muslims ask me, being Muslims, do we need psychology or psychiatry? We have the book, the Quran, and we have the Sunnah, the teaching of the Prophet. So, unfortunately, yes, we do need. Um, belief or faith it in itself it doesn't prevent you from having a, a mental disorder, like schizophrenia or severe depression. Yes, maybe your, your, hel your faith will help you with minor issues of mental illness, like mild anxiety or mild depression. Definitely faith is one of the resilience factor. Uh, there are several factors, six, seven factors like family support, community support, career, sports. Faith is one of the factors which protect you and me uh, against uh, mental illness.